All right, love, so let's sit down. We'll go ahead and lay down, find a comfortable position where you can be for the next 10 minutes or so. We're going to journey with Makali now. So once you get settled into a comfortable position, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to connect in with your breath by bringing awareness to the center of your chest as you inhale through your nose. Nice, long, slow exhale through the mouth here. Disconnecting from daily stresses and connecting in to your divine essence, to the goddess Kali, and to your spiritual path and journey at this time. Let's do one more inhale through the nose here. Exhale through the mouth. I want you to imagine in your mind's eye a blank screen. And now on this screen, I want you to pop in a visual of your favorite place in nature, a place where you feel the most connected to the elements, to the goddess, to your divine essence or higher self. So I want you to call up that imagery in your mind's eye now. This space is your inner temple from which you can connect, communicate, and work with deity and your divine essence on your path. So just take a moment here, imagine, visualize, feel, see, pretend that you're walking around within your inner temple. It's just about nightfall, the sun is setting, the sky is a deep lavender purple And this place in nature can be by the ocean, by a lake, in the woods, deep in the mountains, in a backyard, in a park, or a field, wherever you have felt the most close to goddess and God in nature, this is your inner temple. I want you to walk around within that inner temple now. And as you move around, you come to a clearing. Perhaps it's in the center of a woods or in a field. There's a large circular clearing. I want you to find your way to that clearing now. And waiting there for you, you see the powerful Makali waiting. She has been waiting for your arrival and waiting to work and connect with you. You see her blue skin, her shining black hair, her powerful red lips, her many arms, the necklace of skulls around her chest and shoulders, clasped at her neck, she is naked and beautiful here in this space, comfortable in her own skin, comfortable in her power. And she motions to you with a left hand. She asks you to come closer to her. And as you cross the clearing to stand in the center, you notice that in one of Kali's hands is her sword She has been waiting for you to be ready for this. She asks you to lay down in the field. And as you lay down in this field, Kali asks you what it is that you are ready for her to sever from your energy field, from your aura, from your energy body. I want you to take a moment here and sit with what it is you are ready to release. Is it a person, a relationship, a time in your life, a career, 
a work partnership, a family member, a friendship, a habit you would like to let go of, a way of thinking or believing about yourself that was passed down to you that no longer serves. Sit with what it is that you are ready to have her cut away for you. And then tell Kalima what it is you are ready for her to sever. Speak it to her now. She nods her head that yes, this is right. It is time and she will help you and show you now. She tells you that there can be fear in letting go of something that you've held on to for too long. The fear of who we might become, of what we cannot go back to. And yet, no matter what, this experience, thought pattern, person, time in your life, time in a past life, any and all of these things, they no longer serve. We have been holding on to them for too long. They must be let go of, and Kali is here to help let go. She reaches her hands over your body where you lay on the ground. You can smell the damp of the earth as night falls. Perhaps you smell the grass or the dried leaves. And now Kali's hands stop. Notice where her hands stop over your body. She tells you that here is primarily where the attachment lies and that she will dance and with her sword sever this attachment so that you can remember who you are and so that you can become who you are always meant to be. Stay with Kali here while she dances within her wild freedom and while she severs this energetic tie within your energetic body using her powerful sword. I will call you back when the time is right. Now she stops. Her wild, frenzied dance ceases. She lays her sword off to the right side of her and she reaches her hands over your body again. Now she fills your energy body with a golden blue light. She tells you that this light allows the cord cutting to remain intact and that your energy body is cleared now of the heaviness of this old weight that's outgrown its purpose and time for you. This golden and blue light fills you with a sense of empowerment, of rightness on your path, of peace, peace within, because now you can see clearly who you are, 
who you were and who you are not. She shows you that this is your energy here. This is your space and that you are safe. As Kali transmits this healing light to your energy body and being, take a moment here to ask Kali any question that may be weighing heavy on your mind or to share anything that comes up within that you would like to express. Allow her to answer you. Let yourself communicate with Kali here for a few moments. She tells you that the work done here is good. It is right that you are safe, that you no longer need this attachment or old memory, old way of being, old way of viewing yourself. You are ready now to embrace who you truly are at this point in time free of others' expectations, ideas, beliefs, or reprisals. Kali asks you to take a deep breath in, to feel for the expansion in your lungs here in your safe space. She tells you that she is always here for you to return to, to talk to, to feel supported by, and that her protection is always around you, guiding you on your path, especially in times of chaos, trouble, worry, or while experiencing the feeling of being stuck or lost. Kali will never abandon you. She moves one of her hands to assist you to stand, rising up off the ground. You feel for the lightness and openness within your body, feel like Kali has cut away cords of attachment to other selves, other people, other times and places. There is a lightness within your being now, a presence to where you are on your journey in this moment, at this time. You bow to Kali and she bows back. You express the love and the gratitude that you feel for this powerful goddess. She steps back into the perimeter of the circle. As you find your way back to the center of your inner temple. As you walk back, honoring Ma Kali, honoring the sacred feminine, your divine essence, the many selves that are you, honoring the lessons that you have learned in this life through this cord cutting. What has brought you here? We honor the lessons, not allowing anything to hold us back any longer from who we are now. Taking a moment to honor your physical body, the witness for your soul's evolution and growth. As you reach the center of your inner temple, you take a moment here to feel the contentment of this safe space within the etheric realm that you had created with the divine. 
This is a space you can return to anytime you wish to journey and to connect with deity and divine essence or higher self. Holding this intention and this gratitude, I'm going to count down from five to one for you. When I reach one, I want you to release the imagery of your inner temple and feel for your essence back within your physical body. Five, four, three, two, one. Feel for your spirit back within your body, safe and protected, fully grounded, releasing the journey, releasing the meditative work and practice. When you are ready, gently open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and toes, breathe back into heart center, feeling that warmth, feel that light golden and blue energy that Kali has offered you for healing, supporting you here in the physical. Take a few moments to journal what you want to carry away from this meditation. Be sure to drink plenty of water through the rest of the day. If there's an emotional release, be kind to yourself. Give yourself the time you need before going back to daily reality. I am sending you, as always, much love and many blessings, and I'll see you next time.